I'm going to show you a little a pattern of numbers. I'm sure some of you will recognize it, but you have to think what comes next. Okay, one, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21. What comes next? Let's get someone from upstairs, very back, shout out. 34, what a fantastic answer. How did you come up with 34? The Fibonacci sequence where you take any pair of numbers and you add them up to get the next number. So each number is the sum of the previous two. So 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13. Going further up, 13 plus 21 is 34. It's called the Fibonacci sequence, and it's a lovely thing. Um, uh, which many of you might have encountered in, in talking about patterns of petals in flowers and so on. But uh, it's also got another thing that's slightly less well known, which is if you take two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, the bigger one divided by the smaller one, 5 divided by 3, 1.66. Uh, 8 divided by 5, 1.6. 21 divided by 13, 1.615. The further along you go, the nearer it gets to a number that's very close to 1.618. And that number is also known as the golden ratio, deemed by some to be the ratio of the most beautiful, elegant rectangle there is. I'm skeptical about that part, but it is a lovely mathematical number. And it just turns out, just happens to be, that one, the golden ratio, 1.618, whatever, is closer to the correct conversion of kilometers to miles than 1.6 is, very, only very slightly. But it means that next time you're on the way to Madrid, you say, well, 21 kilometers, I can tell you what that is in miles, because 21 is a Fibonacci number, so it's 13 miles, and you would be correct to an accuracy of less than half a percent. It's amazingly accurate.